Tucked away in the hills of eastern Kentucky sit several unassuming sheds. Inside are hundreds of plastic bins, each with its own deadly occupant. This is the Kentucky Reptile Zoo, and it's here Jim Harris and Kristen Wiley house nearly 2,000 of the world's most dangerous snakes, from monocled cobras to mambas and countless vipers. I just wanted to have a place where I could have a larger amount of animals and I could also educate people. Educate and save lives. Here in these sheds, Jim and Kristen extract the snake's venom, a process known as milking. The snakes, in this case a Gaboon Viper, are encouraged to bite along the edge of a glass beaker. It's painless to the animal. The venom from the syringe-like fangs then drips into a vial. It's a small dose of liquid gold that's becoming crucial in the medical field. Uh, a lot of cancer research is coming from snake venom. Anti-venom comes from snake venom. So, Yeah, it does save a lot of lives. Actually, more people are saved by venom than die from venom. The zoo supplies venom to hospitals not only here in the United States, but also to research centers around the world. Depending on the snake, four types of venom and toxins are produced, each used in a different way. We are doing a project now with South American rattlesnake venom that is in human testing in Europe for cancer. Mamba venom is being tested to replace certain opiates. Well, there's pain receptor toxins and the venom that'll actually, there's neurotoxins that'll block the neurons. so you don't feel pain. We've also seen quite a few venom-derived products, um, most notably our ACE inhibitors that we use to treat hypertension come from a South American pit viper. Dr. Peter Akpunonu is Director of Medical Toxicology at the University of Kentucky. Occasionally he sees patients who are bitten by one of Kentucky's four native venomous snakes. Anti-venom helps reverse the symptoms. He relies on Jim and Kristen to supply the serum to not only his hospital, but other countries where the more exotic species live and where certain anti-venoms can be scarce. It's great having them here. They're a very knowledgeable resource because there's not many people that know more about exotic envenomations here in the United States than those two. 41 years of snake experience does not come without its close calls. Harris, who is a former police officer, has been bitten 11 times, been on life support seven times, and clinically died three times. Every morning I wake up, I'm already prepared to die. I've already died. So I'm not, I'm not scared to die. But it's that tenacity and survival attitude, much like his snakes, that keeps Harris risking his life every day. Some days he and his wife will milk 800 snakes or more. It's supply and demand. Some of the most in-demand venoms can come at a pretty hefty price. Gaboon Viper Venom goes for about $130 a gram. It's an extremely dangerous job that doesn't come with a paycheck. He relies on his police pension so he doesn't take a salary working with snakes. Despite that, he still spends much of his time with hooks in hand and a laser focus, risking his life so others might be saved. It is important to me to give something back. I don't like seeing suffering. I always tell people when most people think of venom, they think of death, I think of life.